We're at Playa Los Perros in the Galapagos Islands, one of the sites of our study of blue-footed boobies here in Galapagos. The study is about population dynamics and population size. Many people who have lived in Galapagos for decades have noticed in the past decade or so that the size of the blue-footed booby population seems to be small. So to investigate this, our study is about population dynamics, birth rates, death rates, estimating population size, trying to determine if in fact the population size has changed, if it has, why it has. And Galapagos Conservation Trust has been a major funder of this work. Our general results um, are preliminary at this point, and we have just finished a survey of the coastlines of Galapagos as one way of estimating population size. David will tell us some of these preliminary results. David Anchundia is a master's student um, working, uh, supervising the project. Okay, Dave. We just finished our count of blue footed in Galapagos, and we, during three days periods, we have five teams and we split simultaneously in the whole archipelago and to have a better estimation. So our preliminary results is like a, we have a total around 6,000 to 10,000 blue-footed boobies and we have a few juveniles here. So this is a good uh, uh, suggestion that the population is declining. Also, uh, the main historical colonies that I visit, uh, they have few birds and the breeding success have been really low. So this is a big suggestion that the population is declining. Also, the preferred item food uh, for the blue-footed uh, is uh, not available as it used to be, so that's another reason that why they are not breeding. During the last eight months of our study, we will refine these estimates of population size and, and vital rates. But for the moment, it certainly looks as though the population has declined at least 50% from the historical levels of the 1960s. We don't understand well yet the nature of the um, food shortage that they experience. The adults seem to have enough food to live, but not enough food to raise uh, their offspring. All of this comes together in the, a coherent story of lack of reproduction fails to replenish the species population when uh, adults are dying. So uh, we will continue to work on this problem. One of the main positive outcomes of this work is the training of uh, local people like David, who will get a a graduate degree out of this and return to Ecuador and increase the capacity in the country for um, conservation. So we're very grateful to the Galapagos Conservation Trust for uh, their support of this important project.